Hey y'all, it's Rita Mae June and I'm coming on today with a six week update of my mini braids and um, also a little demo on how I retouch my edges. Um, as you see, my edges are freshen up. I redid all the way around the perimeter and I'll show you a little better in a minute. But before I get into that, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I realized that I have gotten over 2,500 subscribers and I thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for watching my channel, for, you know, riding and dying. We ain't dying though. <laughs> We're riding with me because, you know, I don't do all the fancy stuff over here and yet y'all like my channel. And I'm just thankful and I thank you guys. So now I'm going to get into my mini braids. Six weeks I had these and I think these mini braids is carrying me from my hair ADD syndrome. So I'm just going to take them down because I really, really love these. I can throw them up when I want. I can take them down when I want. It's easy to moisturize. And um, as you see me just doing the edges, just make it look so fresh, so new. So what I did was I shampooed my hair um, with the Shea Moisture, the new Honey and Manuka line. I shampooed my hair twice with that. And then I deep conditioned with the deep con treatment that goes with that line. And um, and when I rinse the deep treatment out, I only rinse a little bit because I want to leave majority of it in. And um, I put my hair into two French braids and I let it dry overnight. And um, the next day I section off the perimeter. And as you see up in here, it's not freshly done. This is what I didn't do and this is what I did do. Hopefully y'all can see. So yeah, I just section off all the way around the edges. So all of this have not been touched. And they really don't look bad. They still look pretty good. Um, you know, I have some growth from it. But, um, you know, it doesn't look bad. So, yeah, I just redid the edges. And all I did, I'm going to go ahead and take one out with you guys. It's unbraided. I started from the end. And as you see, because I didn't braid all the way down to the end, I just did a two screen twist. It's easy to get it unraveled. So you just take your time, start from the end. And you want to make sure you pull it down as you go because it will get tangled because you have six weeks of shed hair in here so now what I'm doing is just sticking my nail just sticking my nail in the braid and pulling it down When you get to the root, you want to really be careful because that's where it grew out at. And you tend to get a little bit more tangles there. And that's it. You know, sometimes your head can get a little matted at the root. And what I do is just go in and loosen it up at the root and kind of pull it down like that. And now the braid is all out. I take my comb, and it's kind of a fine comb, but it has a little bigger end on this end compared to that end. And I take and I slide all the shed hair down the hair, and then I slowly went in and combed it out. 
We want to be as gentle as possible. We see the shed hair is coming right on out. And here's all the shed hair from that one braid. And then I just went in and rebraided it with no product because I still feel the conditioner I left in my hair. I still feel that in my hair. So my hair needs, doesn't need any more conditioner. And that's what I did to all the perimeter of my hair. I took out each braid one by one, removed the shed hair, and rebraided it. And it just makes my braids look back fresh again. And like I said, I'm going, I have six more weeks for the challenge. So I'm going to wear my braids for six more weeks and wash them one more time in between and deep condition them. So when it's time to take them out, I will come on and share what I'm going to do because the reason why my braid was so easy to take out this time is because it was freshly washed and moisturized and conditioned. So I'm going to come on and share what I'm going to do when I'm time, when it's time for me to take all of it out. And again, I'm going to twist, grind, twist the end of the braid. And that's it. That's what I did to the outside. Um, as you see, when it's all out, it looks fine. I can do half up, half down. And, you know, it looks like my hair is fresh. I really, really am loving these. My, my hair is staying moisturized. And, um, yeah, I'm just really, really loving these braids. And I look forward to this being, like, my go-to style. I'm going to be, like, the braid girl. Y'all going to be like, oh, the girl with the braids. <laughs> but, anyway, this is all my shed hair from the hair. <laughs> it's bigger than my face. <laughs> this is all the shed hair that I got from removing the edges and redoing it. Um, I went through a couple of pieces. They are all long strands. So, it is, indeed, shed hair and not broken off hair. That's how you can tell if it's breakage or not. It's all long strands of hair. And they have the white bulb at the end of the ones I checked. So, you, know, you just want to pay attention to things like that. You want to check the bulb at the end. And you want to make sure it is long strands of hair. But yeah, it seems like a lot. But six weeks is a long time without detangling your hair. So, if you um, do this and you be like, oh, oh, my hair is falling out. You know, it's... Keep that in mind, you know, six weeks is a long time. So, yeah, just wanted to get on and share that with you guys and let you know, yes, I am still hanging strong with my braids. Um, I've been wanting them up in a little messy bun, which is what I love about it. I can wear it up in bun. I can put it down real easily. Without having to really, you know, manipulate my hair. And I've been doing it kind of loose because I just put these in. The um, new braids in. So, yeah, a messy bun with no bobby pins. Just a ponytail holder. And, um, yeah. This is what I've been doing with my hair, y'all. <laughs> So, um, I hope this video has been helpful. If you're still hanging in there with me, leave a comment down below. Let me know how it's going. And if you couldn't hang out, understand, because I've been there. And I'm really shocked and proud that I'm hanging in this long. So, let me know how y'all are doing. Um, you can still come along for, I got six more weeks until the end of the challenge. So, if you still want to join, you can. And if you have any questions or anything, please leave them down below and I will talk to y'all later. Alright?